Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here, Morbid Team Entertainment and Bullock Repair Philippines. Going to show you how to dismantle and clean the most difficult part of a Rex viewfinder right here at the end of my pencil eraser. When you first get a Bolex Rex, it's generally filled inside of here with uh, the glass element and there is a uh, locking metal washer with uh, deceased insects, fungus, dirt, a lot of trash inside of here. First thing you got to do are these three screws. One, two, three that are spring loaded back here. And you have to remove those with a spanner screwdriver, just like this one. All right. So you got to fit these in here, just like that, and just turn this to take it out. Remember, it's spring loaded, so hold it. And by the time we get to the glass element, you're going to have to wear your white cotton gloves or your choice of latex. So that the oils from your fingers will not destroy the glass element. All right. There's one, and we'll keep going. Okay, I've removed the viewfinder from the Bolex body and if you're looking to know how to do this if you don't know I'll drop the link into my video in the comment section of this video to show you how. Alright so I removed the three screws at the front of the viewfinder prism right here. So make sure you got your white cotton gloves on again so the oils from your fingers will not destroy the glass elements. Go ahead and take this out. Remember there's springs back beyond here. So mine those springs. I'm just going to pull everything out just like this. Other than that, this procedure is relatively simple. Got some springs left on here in this prism, and there's still one left down here at the end of my glove. I'm going to put those to the side. And I can take a toothpick and just simply remove the spring. just like that. Put that down there, out of sight, out of mind. Okay, of course the part in question right here is with the glass element. Alright, there's a locking and washer down inside here holding the glass element. So before we take this out, I have to flip it over. Generally there's four screws here, but uh, I have two right here that I'm using. So I'm going to remove those. Okay, after you've removed your four screws at the bottom of your viewfinder, turn it over, and this is the piece you're going to remove. This is okay. So, just pull straight up. Remember, don't let your fingers touch the inside of the viewfinder. Piece right in here, where I want to show you. Take a good look and you're going to see the glass element inside and at the side wall of my pencil eraser you're going to see the uh, typical Bolex locking washer. Okay, so if those of you who have attempted this you're wondering how do you get that element out in that locking washer because there's no way else to get it out. I'm going to show you how. But first, you want to make sure which way the element is set in there. You can use that with a toothpick and rub here. See if it's convex or concave in the front. Convex or concave. All right. So when you've established that, you know how to take it out. So here. And this side is convex. It's crescent. Okay. And at the end of my pencil eraser, inside this front part of the viewfinder, you can see that uh, Bolex locking washer. Now it's uh, open at one side right there. Okay. So, remember, I want to keep in mind with you that this is a risky repair and cleaning. 
you can easily break this glass element in here. So, with that being pointed out, any mistakes that you make upon your person or your bolex and servicing, repairing your bolex, are on you. It's also wise to get yourself a jeweler's loop. So you can see down inside these viewfinders and elements and stuff like that. There's, if you just got your bolex, there's going to be bugs, there's going to be dirt, and there's going to be fungus in here as well. Okay? So, and if you've uh, just got some light dirt, you can clean it with rubbing alcohol, Q-tip, and a toothpick. But if it's really filthy inside of here, here's what you do. Get yourself a bowl of dishwashing liquid. Very, very soapy. And you take this, and you soak it in there just like that for an hour. And what's going to happen? The soapy water is going to come up through the bottom of the viewfinder. It's going to penetrate the side walls and fill up on the inside of the viewfinder eventually. That soapy water is going to loosen up, make it slick inside for that locking washer. Alright, now after an hour, I'll show you how we're going to remove that. And by the way, if you're thinking about uh, instead just spraying some WD-40 in here or some Vaseline, don't do that. Because WD-40 will destroy the elements of the glass and parts of a Bolex. WD-40 is petroleum based and that's why you also don't want to add any Vaseline. Soap and water. So after an hour, we'll get back. Okay, so an hour later, you want to pick up this upper part of the viewfinder dump out the water inside as you can see the soapy water there you want to flip it over to this back section right here all right so how do you remove that element and the locking washer you need an unsharpened pencil use this end of it and you have to go around the perimeter not to be confused with pushing it in the center of the element don't do that you want to push in the corners here all the way around the element gently carefully and patiently including slowly right in the corners so what you want to do is push just like this slowly until it starts to give way and it's already starting. I'll work some more on this and get back to you but I can also already start to put my toothpick inside of here which you really can't see. Okay now as you'll look close the glass element and the wa locking washer or giving way right here. Don't push it too much farther. Turn it around to this side. Get yourself a good angle inside of there where the glass element is at the bottom. The locking washer is at the top. Take a flathead screwdriver. Grab the locking washer only and start pulling it straight towards you, working around the perimeter, just like so. Watch this thing, hold your thumb in the front of it so it won't pop out and hit you in the face. Just like that. Alright, so there's your locking washer. Put that off to the side. Now I had to put my other glove on to get the glass element out of here. Remember the orientation, how it comes out. Okay, next, with the locking washer removed, you can use a toothpick to remove the glass element, or if you have one of these glass element lens suction tools, 
Just stick it right inside, press it, grab hold of it, and pull it straight out. Just like that. All right, so there's one. And let's go for the next one. And there's the next one. Hold these elements close to your work mat so they won't fall and break. So now you got all your glass elements removed and you can clean the inside of this piece here. Soap and water, hydrogen peroxide to kill some fungus and also put it up under a UV light as well as these glass elements here. I'll also drop that link in there in the comment section of this video including how to realign the viewable image and center it of the viewfinder after you get everything put back together. So right now I'm going to clean all this. Now that you've cleaned the glass elements and clean them off Finishing with a uh, microfiber cloth, it's time to reinstall the elements into the viewfinder barrel. So, take a toothpick or your suction tool, pick up the first element, which is thick, insert it inside, just like so. The second element, which is thin, pick it up. Insert it inside. Next is the locking washer. Place it up there. Push it down with your thumb and finger. And start working around the perimeter. I use a toothpick. And I start working around all the way around the perimeter until I get it seated down inside. Just like so. When you push this down in here, don't push it onto the glass all the way down and very hard. Just get it ever so gently and lightly as to not break the element down there. All right. All the way around until you get the washer secured. Other than that, that's all there is to it. Check out the videos I have in the comments centering the viewable image. You put your lens back on the take and for the UV light. And that's really it. There you go. Contact me at Bullock's Repair Philippines FB page for parts, servicing, and questions. Do click that bell down there and subscribe for more videos like this one of Bullock's Glass Elements and Prisms. Email at Bullock's Repair Philippines at gmail.com. For faster response, Twitter at Paula Morbid. And for gory experimental horror films, do visit the Morbid Team Entertainment page. Until next time, see ya!